What's up, Gemini, Gemini, what's say? <laughs> what's up with y'all, man? Um, This is going to be a love reading for Geminis. Sun, moons, risings, and Venus, sis, 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 sis. You can also check your um, Jupiter, your North Node, and what signs in your seventh house, all right? Keep in mind, it won't resonate with every single Gemini, all right? As a Gemini stellium, I take what resonates and I leave the rest, all right? Um, yeah. I'm going to go live this week, I think. <laughs> I think. I always say that and I don't be going live. I need to start going live more. Um, but there is some things that I want to get on live and talk to y'all about. But um, anyway, Gemini. So the song I heard for y'all was Glow Up by Mary J. Blige. If I remember, I'll link it in the description box. All right. Um, majority of my clientele, you guys, are Geminis. So I appreciate y'all so much. Either a Gemini sun or a Gemini moon when I do personal readings. And my personal readings are picking up a lot, you guys. So just please bear with me if you email me. Um, I may not be able to get back to you within, you know, the 24 hours like it used to be. Okay. Um, but I'm seeing a trend. I'm going to discuss a few of those trends before I do the reading. And y'all don't come for me because y'all be trying to come for me when I'm talking before the reading and all that. But again, this is something that somebody may need to hear. So Gemini's, as I'm doing y'all's personal readings, I'm seeing a trend with you guys. The first trend is you guys need to protect your energy. Okay. Um, a lot of you guys are elevating. So you're going to have a lot of people that are either from your past. It could be new people too that are going to come in to try to suck on your energy okay some of you guys are your finances are starting to grow you're going to have people coming around you that want to get a piece of your energy anytime you start elevating higher you're going to start attracting people some of these people don't mean you well okay so don't be surprised if you start hearing a lot from people from your past I've been hearing from people I haven't talked to in 10 years, okay? People can sense, like, sniff out like dogs when you're when you're trying to elevate and when you're trying to manifest and when you're doing something with, you, with yourself because then they're going to try to come, on, come in, ride the bandwagon, and absorb your energy, all right? Be mindful of any past lovers or whatever that come in and try to start arguments with you too because that's another form of energy you guys when you partake in arguments with people you are giving that person your energy okay so just be mindful of that you guys i feel like a lot of you guys are elevating and your options are expanding not just in love but with ways to make money with careers some of you guys are changing careers and doing something different um there was something else. Oh, you guys, learn learn to enjoy the journey and not just the destination. I feel like you guys are learning something new. Some of you guys are getting into spiritual work. Um, really anything. Anything art-related, too. Some of you guys are doing music and writing books and things like that. Um, enjoy the journey of doing it. Enjoy the process of doing it, not just the destination of it. Because the process is beautiful guys it's beautiful all right so let's see four minute mark okay i will try to remember to timestamp where the reading begins <laughs> also guys my email is open for spiritual questions spiritual advice spiritual topics or any type of anything you want to talk to me about you know y'all can hit my email y'all been doing well about that um also you can email me about personal readings or you could go through the Etsy, but I, I see a lot of you guys like to email me, which is fine. Okay, hit the email. I ain't tripping. So we got attraction for Geminis. What's coming towards Geminis in love, spirit? Oh, oh, oh. So we got, it is safe for you to love. Yes, Geminis. We got retreat. 
and we got wedding. Then we have forgiving and learning on the bottom of the deck. So I'm curious about this. I usually only pull for love oracles, all right, for the sake of time. However, I think I'm going to pull one card to, to clarify this forgiving and learning because I'm curious to know what that means, all right? Um, Y'all, please um, disregard the noise. Matter of fact, I'm about to get rid of the noise. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I like to have my windows open because I love to get fresh air throughout my apartment. And um, as you could hear, you could hear my neighbor's uh, air conditioner thingy going off. So, yeah, we have to take care of that real quick. Um, All right. Spirit, clarify attraction for Gemini's in love. <laughs> well, well, well. What will we have? Yeah. We have justice and we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah. So it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yes, Gemini's. That's how you attract love. And I feel like you guys are. You guys are um, getting into your mojo, finding your mojo. Some of you guys might be traveling. I say, I feel like I say this in every video. But I know it's not going to resonate with all of you guys, okay? But I feel like some of you guys are traveling. You might be dealing with a Libra or a Sagittarius or another fire sign or you have a fire sign that wants to come in and balance things out between you two someone is um very attracted to you and um they're riding on in <laughs> but it could also be uh you guys pretty much finding like a passion um some of you guys too it just popped into my head some of you guys might be working out may have started working out to get your physical uh physical look different the nine of pentacles yeah i feel like a lot of you guys are um focused on like your money your looks you know all these different things that you feel anything that you feel is going to enhance yourself outside of spiritually because we we know gemini's are elevating spiritually but i mean outside of outside of that spirit clarify it is safe for you to love but i feel like you guys you may have um you may meet a libra or a Sagittarius, or you know them already, and they're very attracted to you. Mm hmm. But of course, I'm going to clarify. It is safe for you to love. We have the Two of Wands here. Okay. Um. So for this, you guys, I feel like you guys might have a choice between um two people the queen of swords on the bottom of the deck we have libra here again guys lots of libra energy could also be an aries that's two of wands um i feel like you guys are getting to that step of opening yourself up to dating open up opening yourself up to a new relationship um if you weren't already like that before all right uh, with this Queen of Wands here, you guys, some of you guys might go from being happily single to opening yourself up to dating again, opening yourself up to meet someone again, okay? Um, yeah. Some of you guys may also be thinking about um, the kind of partner that you want because the Two of Wands can be planning something. Some of you guys might be planning or um, thinking about the kind of partner that you want, too. Okay, yeah, I'm not taking all these. But the Nine of Cups came out. Death again. Eight of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Six of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay, Spirit. Can I have a retreat for Gemini's in love? What's with all these cards? <sighs> Spirit, clarify retreat for Gemini's in love. Some of you guys might still be in the hermit mode from uh, 
from the reading, the last reading I did. I'm just going to take these because, ah, the hermit's on the bottom of the deck. I told y'all. Some of you guys might still be in that hermit mode that, that we talked about in the last reading that I did for you guys. Okay. But I feel like some of you guys are coming out of that. You're coming out of the hermit mode. Um, we got the store. We got the Ten of Cups. Listen, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And we got the Empress, baby. <laughs> some of y'all have done some massive healing here. This is crazy. Or, Gemini, um, you're going to go into this hermit mode for this massive healing. But I feel like some of you guys may have gotten off social media as well. Y'all have... Y'all have... uh like um disconnected your social media um you're not on on there a lot but listen when you get back on social media it's gonna be popping trust and believe that it's like you guys are coming back into the world as a whole new you like i said some of you guys might be working out you know getting your physical appearance together changing your hair um you know stuff like that that's the energy that i'm getting but the star here is healing. The Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. And then the Empress is abundance. So you taking that alone time is, is, is going to really pay off. And if you've already done it um, or you're in the process of doing it, yeah, expect uh, the rewards of it or, or expect to see the rewards of it. Spirit Clarify Wedding. Clarify wedding for Gemini's in love. Man, listen, when y'all come out of this hermit mode, it's going to be like, that's a new bitch. <laughs> Nine of Cups on the, on the bottom of the deck. Spirit, clarify wedding for Gemini's in love. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, very clarified waiting for Gemini's in love. If anything want to come out, clarify. There we go. All right. So we have the moon. And we have the nine of wands. Chow. Um... The moon could simply just be that you guys um, are trying to imagine your dream partner. You may also be dreaming of a particular person or someone is dreaming of you. Take it how it resonates. Uh, might be a younger fire sign with this page of wands. Take it how it resonates, Gemini, because I'm feeling like... Um, with this nine of wands here, someone may feel like um, you're theirs. Someone feels like you're theirs. And with this moon here, you may be fully unaware that this person feels like that. I'm going to clarify, though. But that's just a very odd combination to come out under wedding. I'm feeling a... Um, I'm feeling some territorial vibes with that. You might be territorial over someone. Someone may have saw marriage with you and um, they may be territorial over, over, uh, over that still happening, even though you two aren't dealing with each other. <sighs> mm. Spirit, clarify attraction for Gemini's in love. Justice in the Night of Wands for Gemini in love. Yeah. Here we go again. Here we go. So we got the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. And the King of Cups, guys. <laughs> ah, some of you guys might be dealing with a Scorpio. Someone feels like they missed an opportunity, Gemini, with this Five of Pentacles here. Yeah. Um, Someone wants to give an offer, but this person doesn't express themselves. See, that's that moon over here, too. 
Someone has strong feelings, you guys. And like I said, they may feel like you're theirs. They may feel overprotective of you. Um, and, or they may feel territorial of you and you probably don't have a clue. This person may also be dreaming about you as well, but they have a lot of feelings and emotions with this King of Cups here. Um, but the offer that they give you won't be an emotional one. It'll be a, it'll be solid. The pinnacles are solid, but it's not really emotional. That makes sense. Um, like I said, it could be a Scorpio, it could be an earth sign that, um, that you're dealing with. Uh, yeah. Spirit, clarify it is safe for you to love. Two of Wands for Gemini's in love. And also, you guys, this could be until I see something that that says um, that this is someone from your past. This could be a new person. OK, take it how it resonates. Energy is fluid. OK, this could be something that happens in the future. OK, a, a month or two from now. All right. I don't time step my readings. Um, so we got the page of Pentacles. So we got the two of wands and the page of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, Yeah, you guys are ready to explore. You guys are ready to manifest. The Page of Pentacles can also be manifesting, you guys. I feel like a lot of you guys are getting serious and you're getting clear about what you want in a partner. And I don't think you, you're you you're willing to um, sway away from that. You're, you're being very clear and you're, very, you're being very intentional in, in what you want. While, while simultaneous, simultaneously, if I can say the word, <laughs> um, opening your heart. Like I said, some of you guys might have began um, to start dating again after being in hermit mode. Some of you guys are getting out of dating to go into hermit mode. It's going to be different for all of you. Spirit clarify, retreat. For Gemini's in love. <laughs> this again what the hell man the, the king of pentacles guys we keep seeing this oh yeah i forgot oh yeah the empress is here yeah the empress of the devil that's what we see um yeah some of you guys might be focusing on your money Y'all, listen, when y'all come back, when y'all come out of this retreat mode, regardless of how your financial finances look, this is how you're going to look to people. Okay? You're going to look like you have it all. You're going to look like you've done it all. But really, you've just been, hell, been through hell and back spiritually. <laughs> In relationships, okay? Um, yeah, you, you've, been through, you've been through a lot, um, Gemini. So I'm feeling like in relationships and, and things like that. Um, and it's, and once you, once you start your healing process and you start vibrating higher, it's, it's going to be as if you never went through any of that stuff. <laughs> uh, queen of wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Yep. A lot of you guys are getting confident. And as I said, you guys, some of you guys are doing things to change your physical appearance. So that's going to be different for, a lot of you spirit clarify wedding this this wedding here too you guys with this moon and the nine of wands this could also be you going through things in secret you going through um heartbreak and things like that in secret not telling anyone <sighs> the hierophant again y'all definitely have a commitment coming definitely Seven of Pentacles, though, it, it's it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some patience. Um, so here, give me one more for wedding. For some of you guys, this is someone you know already. When I see, oh, God, I keep seeing, y'all, look, the Five of Pentacles flipped over before and I put it back. Y'all know I'm hard-headed. Spirit knows I'm hard-headed, okay? Spirit knows my heart. How many times I've put cards back and they flip back over, okay? This just flipped over for wedding earlier and I put it back. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we got the five of pentacles. Yeah, for some of you guys, this is someone you knew already. The, the six of pentacles. 
in the five of swords. Yep. Someone you felt like betrayed you. Um, they see marriage with you though. Someone's holding on to you. Regardless of how you feel about this person, they feel territorial over you. And if you look at her, she's just like, uh-uh, mine, 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 mine. This is how this person is, okay? Even though you probably left this person alone for your, I feel like you left this person alone for your sanity. And again, they may dream about you. They may also have a lot of insecurities. They want to come forward, but they're scared. They are very, very scared. So whatever they did, it's going to be different for all of you. Um, this person may have also been breadcrumbing you. This person seems delusional. I mean, okay, y'all know I don't like to judge, okay? But let me tell y'all what I see here, okay? So with this moon here and the nine of wands, this person is feeling uh, territorial over you. Because, you know, they saw marriage with you and they see you as wife material, right? Um, they feel left out in the cold by you, okay? This person feels like this. the moon is also delusion, okay? Delu some type of delusion. The seven of pentacles here, this person feels like they put in a lot of work. They put in too much work into you. For you to go off and give to somebody else. So now they stress on how they're going to come back. Because I feel like they did some fuckery. Let me get one more card for Gemini's in love spirit. Let's get one more card from each deck. See what's going on, honey. Because baby, no. This could also be you, Gemini. You may feel like you, you gave a lot in the last last connection or you gave too much and that's why you walked away um for others other others of you it's just a whole new connection okay take it how it resonates baby baby listen <laughs> seven of cups delusional the moon delusional as fuck what i've been saying honey this person is delusional I don't know why. And this person may also be completely oblivious to, um, well, I don't think that they're really delusional. They may act like they're delusional and why you stop dealing with them. The moon came out again in the seven of cups, which is also delusion. Okay. Um, I'm telling you, this person might be having fantasies about you, might be uh, daydreaming about you, dreaming about you as if they're still with you as well. Something's odd here. Seven of Cups in the Moon, Spirit. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Seven of Cups in the, in the Moon, Spirit. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, listen, the Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups. This person wants things to turn back, to turn around with you guys. Yep. Because they want to offer you love. But there's some type of, uh, Something here is not fully right with this person, guys. I'm just going to tell it like it is. I mean, something, something's just off here. Again, this person might be pretending that um, y'all still talk. This person might be pretending that, you know, you, you still hitting them up and things like that. And none of that's going on. None of that's going on. <laughs> Oh Lord, help us all. They may be, they may be actually telling people this too. They may tell people that, you know, y'all still talk or whatever. Hmm. Let's get some handwritten love messages, Gemini. I don't know what's going on with this person, but uh no. <laughs> I feel like whoever this is, you. I feel like you are a great catch. And 
they just uh it, it's hard for them to tell people that you're they're not dealing with you anymore that's what i'm getting so they so they're in oh my goodness okay so we got what about us by eric bellinger and seven streeter yeah that makes that song makes a lot of sense for this uh reading i will link it if i remember it uh, if i remember to do it i always forget to uh link the song y'all so my bad my bad <laughs> Yeah, they they want things to turn around between you two, but Gemini, it's up to you. Love will light up the darkness. This is one of my favorites in this thing. Let love replace fear. Yeah, so that's, oh, y'all know what? I did say I was going to clarify forgiving and learning, didn't I? Yeah. That's, this is why I was thinking it was something from the past, and I actually completely forgot. Um, y'all look at this and I just picked these decks up the hangman on both decks <laughs> oh lordy 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 yeah someone's definitely getting something from another perspective now and again I feel like this you guys I feel like this is it's hard for them to tell people that you don't deal with them anymore or they're lying that's another way they're, they might be lying about why that why you don't deal with them anymore to <sighs> spirit clarify forgiving and learning for Gemini's in love let me do this real quick because I did say that I was yeah <laughs> the emperor we have the emperor here and the empress here so we are dealing with some type of a uh, soulmate situation the hermit this person may have pulled away from you or vice versa you pulled away from them Clarify the emperor spirit. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> the lovers and the emperor. The emperor is clarifying the emperor. Okay. So, you guys, you have an emperor that wants your forgiveness. Okay. Because they see you as their soulmate. Yep. Well... <laughs> And it could very well be a soulmate because we have the Empress here as well. That came out. The Emperor came out twice, y'all. Wow. This this might be a baby daddy for some of y'all. A baby daddy, baby mama. Yeah, the Emperor is uh is a father. This person might also be stubborn as hell. That could be why they're not letting you go. They're not just gonna let you go all willy-nilly they're not going to let you go off and, and marry somebody else even though some of y'all are going to do it anyway i can't i i'm waiting to hear from you yeah <laughs> i can't make this up y'all i know you're my soulmate yeah they know that now do you know that gemini or do you care for that matter <laughs> and listen you guys if this is not a past person you want, take it how it resonates, okay? Always be open to a new person coming in, okay? Always be open to a new person coming in. Because, baby, nobody feels as good as you do. <laughs> I love looking at your pictures, yeah. If you sent this person pictures, they're probably looking at your pictures. And I told y'all they was fantasizing about y'all, too. Fantasizing and daydreaming. And all this other stuff. I love you by Drew Hill. Go check it out, y'all. My money is funny right now. Yeah, some of you guys, that Five of Pentacles guys. Mm, yeah, they might be having some issues with some money. I miss your touch. Let's see what else we got. I know my pride and ego can be too much. Baby, that's that emperor coming out two times. I'm telling y'all, this person is stubborn. And you know it. And they know it. But they still see you as this lover here. They see you as this. Hmm. There's a blessing in this lesson. Yeah. This person definitely learned a very, very valuable lesson here. Whenever you walked away from them, they didn't see your, which is sad, that it has to come to that. You know, it has to come to you walking away from someone before they see your value and your, and your worth 
it should never come to that in my opinion all right but you know what do i know i don't know shit feel me um so yeah gemini's that's y'all's reading y'all do what y'all want to do y'all want this person back have at it if you don't have at it okay um either way it go gemini's y'all elevating y'all gonna have plenty of people to choose from plenty of high quality people to choose from all right so that's not an issue um so yeah thank you guys for watching i appreciate y'all so much um hit that like hit that subscribe and until next time y'all peace out